Hello! Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Fat Hipster Channel. Today, as you can see by the sign, I'm going to be trying yet another type of Mountain Dew. And today is going to be significantly different because this Mountain Dew that I'm going to be tasting right now has an ingredient that no other Mountain Dew I've tried on this channel before has. And that is Pretend you didn't hear that, YouTube. So, what I have for you today are two flavors out of the four. They have Baja Blast, they have Black Cherry, they have Watermelon, and they have Original Mountain Dew flavor. I'm going to be tasting Original and Black Cherry, because the original flavor of Mountain Dew and the, the first real variant of Mountain Dew was Code Red which was a black cherry or cherry flavor. Um, I've tried the other two. Um, once I tell you my, what I think about these two, I'll, I'll tell you what I think about the other two. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to the crack and opens. Let's start with the original. Look at that eagle. Or whatever bird it is. It says it has zero sugar. It is 5% by volume. And for some reason, you have to be 21 years or older for this one. These come in a variety pack of 12 uh, ounce cans. You also get single in like the 16 uh, ounce tall cans as well. I did bring cups so we can see what color comes out of the can. Starting with the original. Now, as this is an adult-style beverage, it doesn't have ingredient lists on it because somehow when you put alcohol in a drink, you no longer have to tell anyone what the other ingredients are. So here's the color. Uh, my camera's not picking it up that well, but it is a neon greenish color. Uh, not like the yellowish color that's being picked up on my camera. Um, but let's give it a smell. Hmm, it does have a little lemony lime smell to it. It doesn't smell exactly as I remember Mountain Dew smelling. Let's give it a taste. Okay. It does have a flavor reminiscent of a Mountain Dew. Um, but uh, if you were to give me this without a Mountain Dew label to it, I probably would say that tastes like Mountain Dew. Um, it tastes like a malt beverage that has a lemon lime flavor to it. Uh, it kind of tastes more like. Um, have you had the uh, upside down Seven Up? Or a green river. It kind of tastes like that. It's more limey, like a sweet lime flavor to it. It's um it's not really enough like Mountain Dew. And the flavor is just not that great. Hopefully the black cherry one is better. Here's a black cherry one. It has a bear holding a cherry. Again, I have this can to see what color it is. I really need to figure out some way to deal with the light escaping through the little holes in the blinds. So like as I pass them up, I only get like sun flares going through my vision as I'm doing this. And I'm pretty sure like if you're watching that you're like what happened to his, his video is messed up. They're like black cherry. Mm. 
The color that I'm seeing is more of a rosy pink hue than the red, uh, code red color. Does that smell? This one smells good. It smells like a black cherry soda. Uh, IBC black cherry soda reminiscent, really. That smells way better than the smell of the original. That one is a pleasant flavor. It doesn't all taste like Code Red Mountain Dew. There's still a noticeable malt liquor flavor in there. And there is a sort of a tussening flavor to it as well. I like it better than the original, but uh, definitely not something that I would order again. Or in this case, purchase from a store. So the watermelon and the Baja Blast. The watermelon. I've also tasted both of these before this video, FYI. Uh, these were actually the last two left from my multi-pack that I bought. So I've had me and my wife has basically finished these off. And uh, we share the same opinion that uh, we don't like hard Mountain Dew. They don't taste like Mountain Dew. And they don't taste generally pleasant. Uh, they have strong, like, just like plain malt liquor flavor, uh, which really, if you get a lot of bad hard seltzers, they all have that distinct characteristic to them. Typically, the better tasting canned uh, mixed drinks are made with a, a liquor like vodka or something neutral like that, um, and then you can enhance it with other flavors. But the malt liquor flavor is just very harsh and hard to get past. Um, I'd rather just like put some alcohol in a Mountain Dew and call that a hard Mountain Dew than drink these uh, ever again. Um, also, I noticed like drinking these at 5%. You don't really get much enjoyment out of them because uh, you don't really want, after you drink one, you kind of don't want to open another one uh, because you just didn't enjoy the flavor. I will say that the watermelon one was probably my favorite uh, of the four. And I think my wife shared that opinion. Uh, the black cherry one just tastes too much like Robitussin. The smell is very good. It smells like black cherry. Uh, this one, the smell is okay. It smells like a lemon lime soda, but the flavors don't come through. Uh, the malt liquor flavor is just too strong, and with that, I'm going to say that I'm going to give the Hard Mountain Dew one thumbs down. Uh, as a product in general because I won't uh, spend my money on these again um, disappointed overall that they don't taste similar to Mountain Dew uh, it's in the general area of, of Mountain Dew uh, when it comes to flavor profile but like that's like saying Sprite tastes like Mountain Dew which it doesn't, it doesn't, but it's in the same area of lemon lime soda. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, these uh, are slowly being uh, produced in different states. Uh, they just came to Illinois recently, uh, but uh, check their website if you want to try these. Um, I would say keep your money. Spend it on something better. Real Mountain Dew or real alcohol. Anyway, this has been John on the Fat Tipster channel.
telling you to enjoy whatever it is you're eating today. And I'll see you in the next one. So long.